I had Lionel Chetwin, who was the right-wing leader of the President Bush's Film Commission, walk into a bathroom, changing room I was in, going on The Conspiracy Zone, a show that was on television, I don't know, 10 years ago, 12 years ago, and he walks in in L.A. into the bathroom, and he says, you're Alex Jones. And it was like a gangster in a movie. While I'm at the urinal, he stands there looking at me, intimidating, looking, I don't care, okay, I, I keep going, yeah, yeah. Because I went out and debated him right after that, tore him up. I'm going to try to find that it's somewhere online. And he goes, we're going to kill you. Did this thing on his teeth, and I said, really? And somebody, one of the aides comes walking in, you know, wanting to get us out there. I go, you're going to kill me. Why would you say that? Because I'm already thinking, I'm going to say he just threatened to kill me, but he thinks we're alone. He'll threaten to sue me instantly, boom. I go, why would you threaten to kill me? He looks at the person, he goes, oh, I was just joking. I go on air, say he threatened to kill me. His lawyers call, send letters. I send a letter back going, I've got the witness that he said it. Go ahead and sue. The head of the President's Commission walked into a bathroom and said, we're going to kill you. And he works for the President of the United States. How's that for a real X-Files for you, boys and girls? You think it intimidates me that I'm standing at a urinal and you get in my space and start looking down at what I'm doing? You think, you think I'm that big of a wimp? I'm ashamed of something? You think, you think I'm afraid? You think, oh my gosh, you get in my space, I'm so scared? Oh, you threaten to kill me, I'm so scared? I know what I'm doing, boys. I'm not a coward like you. I don't run in packs. I don't run in gangs. I don't run to the biggest evil thing I can find and cozy up to it because I think it's going to get me ahead in life. I do what I think's right, and I stand up for honor, period. And you can't beat ideas like that. You can cut down my flesh, but you can't cut down those ideas no matter how many lies you put out, no matter how much you weaponize the media. And to have Chris Carter come out and say, Alex Jones isn't right wing. He's a libertarian. A lot of what he's saying's come true. I think there is a danger of a world government takeover. That's in Entertainment Weekly, folks. We're going to address this from a positive position, but also look at the other side. Go read the article. An Alex Jones character based on Alex Jones. What's that smell like? Smells like victory. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Charlie, don't surf. I love Robert Duvall. I'm digressing. It's not a power trip for me to see things like this going on because I already knew it was going on. The fact that they're saying it is a hat tip and shows that the system knows they can't cover this up anymore and they can't stop Hollywood chomping at the bit to want to come out with all this. And I know for a fact, because I was told this by members of the cast, and I'm going to get Carter on, I hope, to talk about it all. A lot of it's contractually blocked, that he didn't do a new X-Files because they wouldn't let him do these topics a decade ago. And then he did loan government to try to do these topics and still was controlled. So the only reason he's coming back with the X-Files is because they're going to let him make what he wants now. Because that's really the big secret is that 10 years ago, shows like Lone Gunman were greatly based on this show. And, and, and it's not bragging when I told people years ago, oh, I've gone out hanging out with uh, Mike Judge of King of the Hill, Beavis and Butthead, and so much more. Idiocracy, extract, I mean, the uh, office space. It just shows the power of what you could have done. I was on Access TV in 95, 96, and 97. And then he came on the show and said this, and then I am the composite with two other people of Hank Hill and Gribble. And people said, you liar. And then he comes on the show and says it. I'm not lying. The point is, that's the power you have. What would have happened if you would have gotten on access television, if you would have spoken out? And again, that's just the power of influence. All of us have power. This is not me up here tooting my horn. Oh, look, the new X-Files is going to be based on me, you know, with 30 million viewers a night or whatever. It shows how culturally we're having victories, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, the system's going to try to co-opt it. See, now if I don't kind of join with this, the real knives come out. Another GOP debate is upon us. 
When you had the World Trade Center go, people were put into planes that were friends, family, and they were sent back. They knew what was going on. They went home and they wanted to watch their boyfriends on television. Who else would come back like that at the Bushes and the Clintons calling them criminals? And this the is crazy. You guys go back to your live feeds. You see, we don't have rights in America. Only the people who are outside of this country have a right. The only right, right. that anybody has is to come live in America, mm -hmm. presumably to live off of us if that's what they choose. They can come live off of us. They can come uh, create war in our country. That's their right. But people in America don't have rights. The first and most important priority of the president of the United States is to protect the safety and security of America. No, it isn't. You're disqualified. You have an oath to the Constitution, and the oath to the Constitution says, and the Declaration of Independence says, you are created to protect our freedoms. Right. Not to keep us safe. They didn't want safety. They wouldn't have rebelled against the strongest government in the world if their first priority was safety. Their first priority was liberty. They created a government to protect that. I'm sick of these people. If we want to defend the country, we have to defend against who's are coming in. And Marco is, has more of an allegiance to Chuck Schumer and to the liberals than he does to conservative policy. Do you really think that Republicans have fueled the rise of ISIS? <laughs> Uh, I think yeah, that's where's she been? Who is she? The allies of <laughs> ISIS, the, the Islamic what rebels against doing? Assad, <laughs> that we created a safe space or made that space bigger for <laughs> ISIS to grow. Uh, we know what's going on. We know these guys are running ISIS. And when they talk about shutting down freedom of speech, he just repeated the exact same stuff he said in his speech. Even talking about how you don't refer to these people as masterminds, he knows precisely what he's saying. These are a bunch of Morlocks, and the American people are a bunch of Eloy. When they talk about serving America, you're on the menu. Join InfoWars January 14th, starting at 7 p.m. Central for another episode of Political Science Theater 3K. Again, ladies and gentlemen, you can get six months free at PrisonPlanet.tv, but only for one more week. Next Monday, the special that only comes around once a year ends. In fact, we've never offered six months free before, but I really want to get more people to join and to be able to watch the nightly news, to see the live reports we do, the special reports, all my films, ebooks, and so much more. One person can share their membership with 20 people, and you are funding the absolute very leading edge, the vanguard of the resistance to the globalist operation on every front. We have to have our own platform that is harder for them to censor, harder for the system to shut down. PrisonPlanet.tv. We put out the daily radio show free with the video and audio feeds at InfoWars.com forward slash show. But it is the members that get the nightly news exclusively and first and the commercial free video podcasts and audio podcasts that are paying it forward and financing and helping so many other people see the truth when we put the videos on Facebook, YouTube, and it's PrisonPlanet.tv that finances so much of the cameras, the equipment, the crew. The reporters, you are becoming a PrisonPlanet.tv member. You get exclusive HD, higher quality, get it first. And then you can download it, share it with friends and family, share your passcode with them, your username. It's a win-win. And then you're helping finance to put it out for free to everybody. PrisonPlanet.tv.